Hello everyone! So today we are going to play with polymer clay and we're going to make tulips today. These are so small. Let me see if I can show you. Here they are. We're going to make those today just because we can. So let's turn around and get to it. Welcome to my work table. I am taking a tiny bit of red here and I am shaping it into kind of a triangular shape seen from above. So it's kind of a tall triangular shape. Uh, we're going to make a cane here. So don't make it too small in the height because then you won't be able to work with this. And again, I'm flattening out a piece of orange clay here and I'm wrapping that around the front of my uh, triangular shape here so nothing in the back then i am rolling my yellow clay here into the uh, oblong shape here cutting it in the middle opening it up and placing it over the orange clay here and uh, this is kind of a lighty lightish yellowy color so I'm taking a ball of a tiny bit darker yellow and I'm placing that on the sides like you see here. And now we are going to stretch it into a cane. But first I am squeezing the colors together so I'm sure there is no air bubbles in between the colors. And then I'm starting slowly to stretch it. Uh, I'm not rolling this one because I want this triangular shapes to stay in there. So I'm just working it with my fingers and kind of stretching it while I do. Uh, you kind of see my technique here. I'm kind of pushing it and then I'm like uh, stretching it with my fingers. And it broke a tiny bit here but it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just gonna keep stretching it until it has a size that I like. I stretch mine to a point that I like it and I actually cut it in two here. And now I'm taking a tiny piece of green wire and I am bending the end of the wire into kind of a little uh, eye or a little hook here and I'm just using my uh, round nose pliers for that. When I am happy with the little hook here, I am taking a tiny piece of rest clay and I'm popping that around the little hook here. This way it will stay in place after being baking and you won't be able to uh, take out the little stem again. So I'm just shaping this for my tulip. Now for the petals of the flower, I am going to cut three thin slices of this cane here then i am taking a ball tool and placing one of these slices in my hand and i'm just shaping um the petal here with a tiny um arch at the bottom and i'm placing that around the little um end we made on the wire doing it one more time and placing it next to that one. So I'm overlapping the first one a tiny bit with the second one and I'm making sure it goes up into a point over the little uh, pointy thing we made in the start. And the last one is taking the um, last side of this one. So you actually have three all the way around the first little uh, thing in the middle. So the little thing you make in the middle is not uh, supposed to be too big because if you make that too big it will not work for you. So here we have the first layer of petals and I'm just making sure that they go up into a point at the top of the flower. And now I'm gonna do the same one more time three petals and I'm going to shape them in my hand 
and I'm placing them over the connections of the first three leaves or petals. So this one is actually kind of hiding the connections of the first, uh, oops, what happened here? There we go. So it's uh, lapping over the first connection here. And then I'm doing the same all the way around so that it is kind of hiding the inside leaves. But they will still look amazing because you will still see them a tiny bit. So you need to do it like this. So here we have the first tulip ready for baking the first time. I will bake these twice. Um, so I'm just correcting the petals here just to make sure it's sitting like I want it to. Then I am deciding where to cut the wire. Don't cut it too short. You rather want it too long. You can always cut it uh, shorter later. Make as many of these as you want to and then bake them. I used up all my canes for these tulips, so now I have quite a few of these. I'm using my female liquid to place here around the wire where it is connected with the flower and I'm just scratching off a tiny bit of the green and placing that here on my little flower head and I'm doing that all the way around the a wire don't do too much you just want a tiny bit of greenery here so it looks like it is kind of blooming from down there Then I designed and 3D printed a uh, puncher for the leaves and um, I will link in the info box below for where you can download the 3D print for this one. You can also cut them out by hand if you rather want that if you don't have a 3D printer. And I'm just making a line down the middle here because then I can bend it in that little line here, make kind of a fold. Uh, and I'm using a tiny bit of female liquid here to make sure it is sticking where I want it to. Placing that around the wire. And I'm taking the other leaves here and I am bending that a tiny bit again using some female liquid. And I'm placing that on the opposite side of the other leaves here. And that is all there is for this little flower. Uh, now we need to I'll bake it again. Subscribe, like, and ring the bell button. So all my tulips are now baked and I want to give them a tiny bit more life here. So I'm taking some green uh, paint here uh, and I tried first with a little of that on the flowers. Um, I'm using that on the leaves here, so just dipping my pencil in there and then kind of dry brushing it on the leaves. But I thought that that was uh, almost the same color as the leaves themselves, so I wanted a little lighter uh, touch on it. So I'm using a tiny bit of yellow paint and I'm gonna mix that together here on my little fingerboard like that. And then I'm going to use that for a dry brush over the leaves of my um, flowers here. Just popping a tiny bit on and using my finger to kind of soften it out on the leaves. And I'm doing this on all my flowers and that's all there is for this little craft. I really hope you enjoyed this little craft. I had a lot of fun with these. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.